Let's get sweaty. Hey guys, welcome to a Shenmue Dojo video. Uh, today's video, I'm going back in time to Shenmue Online. Now you're probably wondering why, considering James and I did a podcast on this, probably about two years ago now. Well, the reason for that is very, very simple. On our August the 4th stream, we got into the topic of Shenmue Online. I can't remember exactly how we did. Um, and Sheephead, who is one of our forum users, good friend of ours, good friend of mine, started digging around the Korean sort of forums from back in the day. A Korean website and found out some what I guess I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure some new information around Shenmue Online and in particular the way you use it thought about it but also it might sort of explain a little bit about the acrimonious departure between Sega and JC Entertainment there's also some new screenshots that certainly aren't on the dojo website and certain things that I haven't seen it obviously doesn't mean they're not available elsewhere but anyway i'll show those off as well as part of this video thank you to sheephead for sort of getting in into this digging into this um he's going to keep digging around with his other stuff on the forum to pop up he will put them there as well anyway let's dive straight in let's look at the yuzuzuki interview from uh capax 2004 so this is a korean game show this is a long time ago this is 20 years ago now and i'm going to bring it up on the screen for everybody to see so hopefully it's big enough there we are so we're going to look through the interview itself so this is by someone called oddly Ryozuki. they've been publishing on this forum for a quite a long time this is dated from 2006 by the looks of it and it seems to be sort of um a reminiscent sort of piece around the camex 2004 interview which i also have here and i'll show you that so this is their sort of take on it, essentially. Basically, show me one night so we revealed to take a game show. It's different to what many people expected and didn't have a good feeling about it. Obviously, wanted to play it and play it for self. Then he got the interview to do um, um, interview director Yu Suzuki at Camex, and he went there obviously quite looking forward to this. However, Yu Suzuki was very angry at the time. This is very interesting. Obviously, show me online at this point in time was part of a closed beta, so it's very much in the middle of production. Um, and this person obviously had to tread carefully. You can see Yu Suzuki there sort of having a look at the screen and pointing at something. I'm not sure how angry he is there, but he's pointing at something. Um, but of, this was done just before JC Entertainment were pulled. Coming a bit further down, you can see him looking inquisitively at something there. Again, not too happy. And again, he doesn't look very happy there. And the people around are a bit miffed by the looks of it. Anyway, the appearance of Shenmue Online is very, very different to what Yu Suzuki had imagined it seems, certainly from this, and the interview sort of goes into that a little bit as well. It had almost no Shenmue feel to it. Now that's massive. That's huge, 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 and I'll come on to that in a bit. And the battle system that he'd been so proud of for years was an absolute mess. And he goes into it a little bit here that a basic attack could be performed by clicking a mouse, but it was not particularly good it was very bad didn't have any impact to it the attack motion was random didn't again work particularly you can directly input the attack you wanted so it really sort of stepped away from the battle system in in, in Shenmue the original Shenmue 1 and 2 game it basically saying here you're gonna be in for a disaster now I should have said this is all being machine translated so there's obviously gonna be some little errors in translation potentially here uh, the graphics were said to be in development but were well below expectations even though it was a closed beta uh, really bad lag um, to enjoy the game. So again, it really annoyed Yu Suzuki by the looks of this. Uh, he probably couldn't believe it was developed in Korea, which obviously is a country well, well known for um, making online games. This is obviously a mistranslation. It says he was so angry his hair fell off. Well, clearly that's not the case. Certainly, I wish it was in my case, but there we are. Um, and he almost lost the inter uh, interview opportunity, but he eventually did manage to speak to him a bit. There's a photo there with some cosplaying as Joy. Uh, there's a brief little note here. Um, he didn't really comment on this, but apparently he was talk, sort of talking to JC Entertainment at the time and QT events from the original Shenmue were planned. Um, and he was going to need to reduce the battle room system, some other bits and pieces. But he said he got angry because there's ghost-like character among the enemy characters. So is that like an NPC that hasn't been filled in properly? Is it a bug? I don't know. But this doesn't set a very good precedent already around Shenmue Online. So moving sort of into this a little bit, you then have this interview here, which... Is, is the interview that was conducted at the time. And obviously, as I said, the piece just before was was the um, interviewer's own take on it. So here's the interview itself. Uh, he said, obviously, admired Yu Suzuki's work, which is great. So thank you. They get into the questions. He says here, Shemu Online is a game that's been developed jointly with Korea. To what extent is Korean culture expressed in Shemu Online? He goes into talk about that um, 
there is going to be some Korean culture in there. If you look at the map that was on the original Shenmue Online website, it does mention go to Seoul as one place. And they're working on motion capture for Taekwondo, which is traditional Korean martial art, in order to add it to Shenmue Online in the future. I'm not sure if that's been confirmed before or not. I don't remember it, but someone can correct me if I'm completely wrong. Uh, what are the differences? Talks about community and guilds. Uh, it embraces the story of Shenmue that was released for consoles. There's going to be 150 events that reflect the original story and worldview of Shenmue will be applied. Um, there should be interesting battles in there as well. Uh, as it also notes it here, we are currently hard working hard to reduce the time lag, which is very interesting when you look at the comments were made by this you know, by the person who did this interview that there was lag with the input for the attacks. And then this next bit is very poignant. Uh, Yuzuki saying that he's not happy with it. So the interviewer goes and asks, is there any room for improvement in the graphics or interface? And are there any plans to add maps? He says, to be honest, I'm still not satisfied. In particular, I'm not convinced by the graphics you pointed out. However, as you know, it's not yet fully developed and it has only just been revealed. So we continue to upgrade it while continuing the closed beta service. Also, the interface is still in the experimental stage, so it may be very different from now when it is officially launched. In the case of the map, there are many things that have not been revealed yet, which you can look forward to with a sort of confident laugh to it. And it is noted then later on that there's going to be some QTEs put in as well, which they sort of have a laugh and a joke about. Um, Ask if it's going to come to consoles. Uh, it wasn't planned at the time, but it was then sort of confirmed as being potentially under review at that point. Uh, and then... Yeah, yeah, and asked, what do you think the satisfaction level of Shenmue Online that has been developed so far is roughly? So I'm not sure if that's talking about how far along development it is or his own personal, personal satisfaction in it. Again, that could be the machine translation. But it says here, as you know, it's, I first developed an online game with Shenmue Online, so it's hard for me to comment on work that's not finished yet. However, as of now, it hasn't reached my expectations. So again, reaffirming what's been said, that he didn't seem particularly happy with it. However, considering that it's still unfinished and there are countless parts will be updated in the future, I think it's about 50% complete. Now that's interesting because very soon after this, it sort of disappeared off the face of the earth and JC Entertainment were no more. And it then sort of popped itself back up at China Joy 2006. And then this interview here sort of touches on a little bit. So you've got the Shenmue Online poster. I've got a little couple of screenshots here. It says here, it's been out of sight for a while. But it's finally revealed some new screens. Director Yu Suzuki has held a press conference at Sega Shanghai branch. Uh, and currently revealed the pictures and some other bits and pieces around it. And then obviously notes that China Joy is going to be held on July 28th, which is 2006. Now, he says here that I'm not the general supervisor of Shenmue Online as originally announced, so his role here has changed. But rather, I'm directing the development from the position of director close to the scene. The game is something I'm confident in and presenting as my own work. I consider it disrespectful to the players to have a quality that I am not satisfied with. I have faith in the efforts and the talent of the development team. It still needs more time to be completed perfectly, but I am confident that I will be able to complete the idea where I've set out great. To create it says also a little note here i think he must be shocked by the quality of the beta test version which obviously we just talked about uh which was obviously ju uh, jointly developed by jc entertainment that's why he then decided to supervise it directly instead of just reviewing it um and obviously i've gone through the 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 article there for everybody to have a look at so looking at that just sort of as a summary i guess is it, it's clear from that language that user zuki has used he clearly wasn't happy with it in 2004 now, like as I said, he commented the attack system for graphically bad, there's other issues, lag. All those things did not paint a good picture. Now, if you think back to the reaction to Shenmue Online when it got announced, there was it was very, very lukewarm. And judging by his reaction to it, that lukewarm reaction may not have been misplaced. That's very interesting in itself. The other point that I find really interesting here is whether this would have been the trigger for the very bad sort of acrimonious parting of ways between Sega and JC Entertainment. Now, I spoke to a developer who wants to remain anonymous and that will stay that way, who told me that Shenmue Online has been tied up in litigation from 2004, 2005 as part of that breakup. Now, GameSpot did an article which sort of summarized that a little bit. And I just wonder, uh, whether Yu Suzuki's view on it and what they were doing with it was the sort of the catalyst for this whole thing falling down and then it obviously moving over to Sega Shanghai. I mean, this sort of talks about, in very brief detail, this article talks about the, the acrimonious breakup here, which again has only just been sort of further and further and further, sort of, in my mind at least, enforced that this broke down, 
it was not a happy relationship and then it's ended up in litigation and, and it's disappeared after China joined. Nobody knows what ever happened to it. Nobody knows what happened to that beta either. I still like to play it because I think it's a ho holy grail thing. Hopefully someone in Korea has it. Let us know if you do. Sheep, if you find them, tell me. But yeah, the, as you can see here, the quality of the product that Yu Suzuki played, he was not happy with it. And if he's not happy with it, the chances are the Shenmue community weren't going to be happy with it. And it was going to essentially bomb. And bearing in mind they spent $20 million on this project by the end of it. Yeah, there's a lot here that's gone wrong. The second part of this, which I find interesting, is the fact that Yu Suzuki then sort of took this on himself. So clearly, clearly unhappy of what had happened, what had been going on with the project. He decided to just go, well, I'm going to take this on myself. Now, that's fine, but obviously it didn't go anywhere in the end. So I wonder then when he's taken this on, how that project's evolved, whether it's evolved, and then did it just sort of disappear to the way wayside? Say, well, like, look, too much money's gone on this. That's the end of it. Thank you very much. Possibly, I don't know. I'm surmising, but it could be one logical answer to that. The other answer could be that the litigation was still going, and they thought, you know what, this is just not worth the hassle anymore. Because what I should have said back then is. The JC Entertainment apparently, I don't know this, but apparently had joint rights to Shenmue Online as the IP with Sega. So Sega clearly had to buy them out or sell out for what, some way, shape or form, which is then what I understand is where that whole sort of tied up in litigation thing comes from. And probably why people aren't really willing to talk about it because there's been quite an acrimonious court case around it. But it's also been thought for years that Shenmue Online was very much a sore spot for Yu Suzuki. Now, Obviously, don't know what happened when he took it, took it up as director in 2006, but certainly in 2004, when it's being jointly developed between Sega and JC Entertainment, and he was a supervisor sort of reviewing it, and he gets that product that he's not happy with, you can easily, easily see straight away that that's going to be a sore spot for him, and it, it's something obviously clearly hurts. Coupling the litigation, coupling the project getting binned off very quietly, and the all sort of the, the other things around Shenmue Online and Shenmue at the time, and you can see why it's a bit of a touchy spot for him. Anyway, I'll part that there for a little minute, and I'm going to go through some of the screenshots that have been popped up as part of this website. Again, all the links we'll put in the description below, so you can pick those up and have a look yourself. It's also going to be on the Dojo website. So coming up on the screen for you right now, I appreciate they're a little small. I will enlarge them, are some of the images. Now, they will be a little bit pixely, I should just warn you. So here's sort of an image of Hong Kong, sort of from the boat and where you get off. It looks very different when you compare it to sort of the Dreamcast look. It doesn't look as good for me. It looks very CGI -y more than anything else. Again, sort of coming towards Pigeon Park. There's, it, it, do you know what? It feels less populated, less busy. It doesn't look as good for me here. It, it looks like a downgrade if I'm being being completely frank and honest with you. Which, given the tech at the time, should have surpassed the Dreamcast. Now I know it's online, so they have to balance this out. It just didn't feel quite right. So then. Another little view of Pigeon Park coming in. You've got some sort of phone booths at the top there, which certainly weren't there in the original games. You've got some stalls to the left-hand side, some people walking around. You can see Rio just there. It looks a bit better here, I will say that. But again, doesn't quite shape up for me, just from a personal perspective. Uh, a little image here. That is blatantly Rio's Dreamcast model. You're in Pigeon Park again, and it's all sort of changed up. The fountain's been changed a little bit. There's more sort of people dotted around. I, the look of it for me, it just isn't quite, doesn't hit it for me. Uh, another image of the park, people walking around. I mean, this look, I mean, it looks okay, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, as a Shenmue fan, I think we all looked at it and gone, we're not massively happy with it, but I obviously don't understand the tech, technical compromises may have to be made to make this thing happen. Um, then you've got the title screen over the, the, the harbour here which I don't think we had before. So you can see that quite quite nicely there. So obviously it's very got the very same sort of intro to Shenmue 2 in that regard. And then coming in, you can see another little image, I think, of one of the pier areas or workers area. You can see some vending machines and other bits and pieces there as well. And then coming in, you can see the image like we're in the interview itself. You've got Yu Suzuki here looking at a screen, not looking particularly happy. And the person next to him clearly is a bit annoyed about it as well or looks shocked. Then a conversation sort of ongoing. Again, Yu Suzuki doesn't look particularly happy. Person in the suit looks a bit like, oh dear God, what's gone on? And the guy in the orange again is a bit like, oh, yeah, a bit unsure about this. 
continue conversation here, very sort of similar expressions. And then you've got Yu Suzuki looking like a complete badass with Joy's bike and a Joy cosplayer here. Um, it's got the original Honda logo there, which was taken out of the game jam beta in Shenmue 2. Um, but again, that's quite a cool sort of setup and image there of Yu Suzuki at Capax 2004. Anyway, this, this sort of information is brilliant. It's a gold mine. Um, anything that adds to the legacy, the history, and the inquisitiveness that lies around Shenmue Online is perfectly welcome for me. As I said, I'd love to get hold of the beta. Unlikely to happen. But it's also interesting as well, when you think to Shenmue City, Shenmue Guy, some of the assets for Shenmue Online were used. So it would suggest that potentially that that court agreement allowed Sega to take back all the IP, all the assets, and do what they want with it. And obviously, Shenmue City did, as I said, have some of those assets from the characters, some of the models, some of the locations that were in there as well. So it's a bit of a messy history, but this is a snippet into it. Um, Sheephead is still going to be digging around the Korean forums, Korean websites, trying to reach out to the blog poster who, who wrote this. I'd love to talk to them. Um, on the show I, that'd be a brilliant interview to have them on the show um, any sort of new information will be popped up on the forums any new information that we get I might do some more videos as on well as well but guys let us know what you think of this obviously it's a new revelation into Shenmue Online and Yu Suzuki's real sort of take on it and the fact that matter was he didn't look too happy about it but what do you guys think about it drop some comments below don't forget to give us a like share subscribe on Facebook YouTube Twitter and all the usual places also, for £2 a month, you can be a member and get all videos ahead of time, outside the podcast, I should say. Uh, all the money goes to the running costs of the website for James and I. Uh, nothing is a lot behind a paywall. If you don't sign up, you get everything on the Saturday videos as you would do normally just on the schedule. But thank you guys for dropping in on the content. It's always appreciated by James and I. Um, I will be back with another video, hopefully on Shenmue Lot Online, but we'll see in the not-too-distant future. But for now, guys, take care. Have a good one.